Hello fellow YouTubers, welcome to YouTube Gaming Community. I'm your host Robert, welcome to the Trouble A385 channel. So today we're just going to jump right into our topic, I'm so excited. Today is the 40th birthday of Atari. Now the reason I'm so excited was, quite frankly, you know, Atari was my first video game system, the Atari 2600. I mean, even though I love Nintendo, there's still a very, very fond place in my heart for the Atari as a company. If you ask me, what is my favorite 2600 game of all time? It's simple. Right here in this little box. Asteroids. I know some people don't believe it, but Atari still means a lot to video games today. They are not the monster company they used to be. But trust me, if they didn't matter, they wouldn't have stock on the stock exchange. If they didn't matter, the media wouldn't be making such a big deal about the birthday today. Growing up, Atari symbol made a lot to me. I mean, whether it was on a computer, whether it was on a game system, anything that had Atari on it, I couldn't get enough as a kid. The Atari in the arcades... Primal Rage and stuff like that. What's funny to me is Atari is one of those companies, like uh, three companies I can think of, that no matter what happens, you want them to do well. You don't, you like, certain companies should just simply exist in the video game world no matter what. And the other two that a lot of people love no matter what is, of course, Sega and Nintendo. And so, thinking about my love for Atari, I thought, you know what? There needs to be an Atari invasion to YouTube. We need to invade YouTube with Atari goodness. And of course, the man who used to do invasions was TechRomancer1, which he doesn't do those anymore. So I decided I'm going to do one today, though I will leave a link to his channel below. He still has an awesome YouTube channel. What do we do for this invasion, you ask? Simple. Play an Atari game. Or talk about your memories of the Atari and what it means to you as a company their video games, their history, anything that means to you about Atari, and simply put it as a video response to this video, and I'll give you a shout out. There's no time link for this. I mean, just talk about the awesomeness and your love for Atari. So, one last thing about Atari before we move on, and that is... Atari's YouTube channel, they put Atari 40th Anniversary. This, quite frankly, is one of those videos that if you grew up with Atari, pulls at your strings of your heart really early on. It shows a kid sitting around a surrounding that kind of looks like a birthday or a Christmas, and you see him talking about how he used to play, stay up all night playing the, the you know, 2600, and then after that's all over, you see the, like, through the years, I guess, the Atari logos, and then it goes to today's Atari, which is mainly iOS games or games on the, of course, XBLA, PSN, stuff like that. Which they've done actually pretty well with that stuff. So, go check it out. Really cool video. But that was not the only video game stuff that happened this week, of course. Of course, on Tuesday, two major DLCs dropped. And the first one was, of course, Dawn Guard for Skyrim. Now, I quit playing Skyrim not because I didn't like the game, but because I wanted to play other games. Which, of course, I left one game I'm obsessed with for Diablo 3, which is another game I'm obsessed with, and I need to quit playing both of them because I need to get to my summer backlog challenge, but I haven't touched them yet. But if you want to check out some Skyrim Dawnguard gameplay, check out Hanson L. Harjay, or Double H Gaming, for Skyrim Dawnguard Walkthrough Part 1. Or if you want to hear someone's thoughts on Mass Effect 3 Extended Cut DLC, I'm going to spell his name because he says it in one of those like fantasy-like settings and I'll just botch it to all badness and then he'll be a, you know, be like, man, why couldn't you say that name right? He says it in his videos. You suck. It is A-R-C-H-E-N-G-E-I-A. -E Go check out the video. It is a 49-minute long video, but he goes into serious detail, not only about, you know, you know, obviously the history of Mass Effect 3, but more importantly, well, his thoughts on the original ending, his thoughts on the DLC, really in-depth detail, if you want to hear detail about it. That really made in-depth detail about detail. That was a good way of, like, just playing with words that don't exist. Next up, 
Let's go to a social game, and that is Freakin' Indies LGR Plays SimCity Social. Now, let me just say this right now. If you do not like Facebook games, you're not going to like this game. It's as simple as that, because this game is spent around social slash trying to get you to pay money to do things faster. That's what every Facebook game does. They try to make you say, hey, you could spend three weeks doing it this way, or you could spend two minutes just paying us however much to get there. So if you want just a building game, you'll get that, but it's a building game with Slash. Here's, you burnt your energy. You have to wait a very long time to do it again. If you want to see gameplay of the game, check out this video. Really cool. It still looks really cool. It still looks like kind of like the SNES version, but with social aspects. And another game that I completely forgot coming out was Forest Locks release day unboxing for Record of Our Guest War 2 limited edition North American version PS3. I have Record of Argus War 0. I like that game a lot. I completely forgot that the second one was coming out. If you want to see the limited edition, go check out the video. And for some old school retro console that I never knew existed goodness, go check out Steve Benway's Mattel Aquarius 8-bit vintage computer system overview. I didn't know this thing existed. I didn't even know Mattel made this. But if you never... He actually, Steve Bentley put out another video today of another system I've actually never seen before either. So go check that out after you check that one out. Next up, Jerry Terrifying Review, Akara 3, The Rescue, PSN, PSP, PS3. So Akara 3 or Akara Warriors 3, whatever you want to call it, is an arcade game that came out. It is an awesome game. Go check out the video for gameplay footage. And then for somebody who said, Trouble, check out my video, it is Chris Yo Connell 311 Mr. Bones Shadow Monster. Mr. Bones was a game released on the Sega Saturn. This is a beautiful looking game. So if you've never seen any gameplay at all, go check it out. She's fighting the Shadow Monster boss in the game. Next up is another video that someone sent me. It's a trouble. You need to check this out. And it is by SciFic. It's SciFic R Rob 78 and Air Force Shields Invade Book Off. This is an awesome video game store because not only does it have three YouTubers in it, but it has North American video games and Japanese video games. A lot of cool stuff. Go check it out. And for the news segment, Jilpu3 just released a video. Nintendo Junkie continues big news. No, he is not continuing the series. In this video, he explains his thoughts on letting something else take over. And the person taking over is the game man, Dan. Very supportive video, by the way. Go check that out. And when you're done checking that video out, go check out the game man, Dan. Nintendo Junkie Saturday, Episode 1, Help Wanted. Now, he is... Doing Nintendo Junkie in, in some ways like it used to be, but in the same way, putting his own spin on it. And it is very early, so it's one of those things where you watch it go, wow, I could see a lot of potential in what he's doing. So simply remember, it is the beginning of a series, the dude's taking it over, he's trying to put his own spin on it. Actually, the first episode was really good. I actually suggest you go check it out. So guys, that is all today, and like I've been saying lately, if there is a video or a channel in the game queue that you see trouble, why aren't you shouting this out? Simple. Leave a comment below. Send me a message. Contact me on Twitter. Say, Trouble, why are you not shouting this out? Or maybe it's your channel that you're saying, you're ignoring my channel, man. Why are you not shouting out my channel? You should be shouting me out. And this is why, you evil person. But, guys, that is it for now. I can't throw a piece of paper because I had to use my laptop. Because, unfortunately, my printer ink's gone. So... I will talk to you guys all, hopefully tomorrow, though it is supposed to be 101 degrees, so we'll see. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.